If you want to learn how you can live better with PMDD, this podcast was created for you. This is Mindfulness for PMDD with Diane. I'm Diane and I'm a registered dietitian and lactation consultant. I'm also a mom, a PMDD warrior, and a trauma-informed mindfulness teacher. And this is where I discuss topics related to PMDD through the lens of mindfulness and meditation, and where I share all about how mindfulness has gotten me to a place of greater peace and acceptance with my PMDD. I also chat with people who have helped and inspired me along the way, so they can share their wisdom with you too. So let's get started. The following is a mindfulness exercise or meditation. So if you're driving or otherwise distracted, I invite you to save it for a time when you can find yourself a moment of comfortable stillness and practice safely. If now's that time, let's get started. Hi, my lovely, lovely friends. Today I have for you a mindful moment that I call Intention for Self-Kindness. You have survived 100% of your worst days. But while that may be true, what if it's more than that? What if each bad day offers us a chance to do more than just survive? What if each challenge is a chance for us to practice being kinder and gentler to ourselves. I'm serious. I'm also a realist. And I accept that this isn't something you can easily just start doing. But what if we made the intention that each challenge is a chance to practice being kind and gentle to ourselves? And that's what we're going to start to do. And then, what if we held that intention in our hearts so that maybe not every time, but sometimes, and hopefully more and more often over time, that intention may resurface and present itself to us in a difficult moment. And because we've already set that intention, it is perhaps just the tiniest bit easier, just 1% easier to pause in the midst of one of those really challenging moments and ask, how can I be kinder to myself about this? How can I be more gentle with myself right now? So if you're up for it, We can practice setting that intention together now. Finding yourself a place of comfortable stillness when you're ready. Can you see what you can do to make yourself even 1% more comfortable? Perhaps dropping your shoulders. Resting your feet flat on the floor grabbing a sweater or a blanket. And when you're ready, if it feels comfortable for you, taking a cleansing breath inward and a long, slow breath outward. And if that felt okay, taking another one or two intentional breath cycles, breathing in peace, and breathing out any stress you're carrying with you today. Welcoming this present moment and setting aside any worries or thoughts or feelings about yesterday or tomorrow, 
about the day so far or the rest of the day ahead. Just putting those thoughts into a basket or a box, shutting the lid and setting it aside, claiming this time for yourself. And here we can bring the eyes to a close if that feels safe and comfortable for you today. If not, you might choose to gently lower your gaze to a single spot in front of you. I invite you now to see if you can find an anchor to this present moment. And if it feels okay, to your internal experience right now. So you might find it helpful to place a hand on the belly here or the heart. You might like to focus on the sensation of the breath flowing in and out of your nostrils or the feeling of your feet rooted to the floor or the earth. Or you might use the feeling of your body supported by the object you're resting on. There is no wrong here, only what works for you right here, right now. If you find your mind wandering, as it's designed to do, see if you can just acknowledge that your mind has wandered and kindly invite your attention back to your anchor. If that feels okay and you'd like to take a step further, perhaps play around with tuning into any sensations you notice in your body. See if you can notice them without any judgment. Just curiosity about what you're experiencing right now. And perhaps even asking yourself, what do I need right now? What is my body telling me I need today? Let's take a few more moments for this. And when you're ready, I invite you to lift a hand or two to your heart if they aren't there already. Maybe even giving the heart a gentle rub here as we set our intention. I'll offer a few versions and you can just listen or if you like, You can choose one you like or make up your own and repeat it to yourself quietly or aloud, whatever you are most comfortable with.
tough times will come, and I intend to welcome them with kindness. Challenges will arise, and I intend to greet them with an open heart. PMDD is hard, and I intend to meet it with non-judgment. I will sometimes struggle, and I intend to be gentle with myself. Maybe now that hand comes up to the heart if it isn't there already. And if you're feeling really bold, you can try lifting the corners of your mouth into a gentle smile. No pressure. I'll repeat those intentions one more time. Tough times will come. And I intend to welcome them with kindness. Challenges will arise. And I intend to greet them with an open heart. PMDD is hard, and I intend to meet it with non-judgment. I will sometimes struggle, and I intend to be gentle with myself. Taking a moment here to return your attention to your anchor. And as and when you're ready, I invite you to gently flutter the eyes open and slowly come back into the room. Thank you so much for joining me in this mindful moment today. I see you claiming this time for yourself. And I appreciate you and send you my love. Until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked the show, please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. For links to everything mentioned in this episode, you can check out the show notes. And you can find me, Diane De Jesus, on Instagram at Mindfulness for PMDD. Now, I invite you to pause, take a breath, and look around. <laughs> <laughs>